Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Minecraft with the silly quest for the treasure. I'm here in my underground base and I've set up a little alchemy laboratory, maybe temporary or maybe permanent, we will see. Uh, so yeah, just a couple of brewing stands, uh, this is where the nether world will go. It will drop into the brewing stand for automatic awkward potion creation. This is where the water bottles goes and this is where I will create the actual potions. So let's do it straight away because for today's episode the plan is to go back to the nether again and work on my nether hub. I have a design in mind so we will get started with that in today's episode, we'll see how far we get. I went back to the jungle, jungle to get some uh, melons, yes, so I can have also healing health potions. Uh, this seems to oh, interesting. So let's get the melons and some more nether worth. This is the little farm I set up after uh, last episode. Uh, that's 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 enough for what I need. So let's also grab the nether worth and replant it, of course. Uh, da, 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 let's do it this real quick. And perfect. Let's go back to the table, to the crafting, uh, to the alchemy table and drop all the stuff into the proper chests. Great. So I will do uh, some healing potions and to do that you need glistery melons which I believe it's made like this. Yes sir. Uh, let's just do one, it's enough. And how do you make them in this way? The bottle, the bottle. Uh, I'm full. Okay, let's drop this down for the moment. Uh, I get geared up, as you can see in my inventory. I have, oh, meanwhile, the potion brews. Let's drop this stuff that I don't need. Uh, for example, let's drop some here. Uh, no, that's the wrong chest. This is the right one. Golden nuggets here. Uh, let's put half of this here, maybe, and half in the organic chest. Yep. Uh, so, as you can see, I did some collecting off camera to prepare uh, for the next trip to the nether. I got some obsidian and I will need it for set up the new portals. Some efficiency one peaks, uh, my fortune peaks, I will definitely need it for the quartz, some food, scaffolding for dirt, some leathers and cobblestone and uh, okay, potion of healing are done let's make them uh, wait a moment yeah, here it is let's increase their uh, duration, no yes, with glowstone dust that's all right. Uh, I also already made some potion of fire resistance, always needed in the nether. Mm. Let's wait for the potion real quick. And bang! Instant health too, very handy. I will grab one just in case. And let's put the potion here. Okay, we are ready, we are ready. So the plan for today is to go to the nether and create a nether hub. Uh, I may need more supplies but I can always come back. I hope to do it uh, in one episode but we'll see how far we get. So this wave to the portal. Uh, take a look at the giant fluffy nether portal room. And uh, let's hop in. Bang. So, what do we have here? Okay, good. Um, let's take a look at the F3 coordinates. So, the science behind this 
is that you can move portals um, up and down on the Y coordinate but uh, you should stay the same for the X and Z coordinates so I will go up uh, very very close to the bedrock lever because that is the uh, better way to create another portal another hub sorry uh, in fact let's take one of the pickaxes I think I don't need the X over here yeah uh, the reason is because in the upper level of the nether uh, there is another rack uh, let's call it layer and there is less there are less chances to uh, ooh, scary noises of gas there are less chances ouch, of uh, going into lava lakes or uh, weird uh, dungeons small dungeons small caves so I basically want to go up this is where I want to face my new portal so that's great uh, we are going up two blocks from my actual portal and you will understand why once I'm up so I have plenty of torches good an ender chest I want to set an ender chest there as well so let's start to dig up and I believe I also need ladders in the process so let's put ladder and here we go that's how we get up I uh, need to be more very careful here for the at this level because I may always encounter uh, lava pools down here so uh, digging straight up it's not uh, it's not one of the things you usually do but let's just be careful and I have a potion of fire resistant ready so yeah basically this is what I will do to get up <laughs> so you don't need to look at this on camera let me do it off camera real quick and I'll meet you once I am up to the bedrock level I want to put the torches on this side of the tunnel good I'll meet you in a few seconds and we are back as you can see I hit the bedrock level over here so we are high enough but actually too high so let's get down a little bit because I don't want to go uh, right on top of the bedrock level so let's say down here is the maximum level I want to be so and track good good stuff uh, so my room uh, let me pause the game and just talk for a second my room will be uh, 10 plus 7 high, so 17 high. So I need to go 17 blocks down from here. Uh, maybe I can do 15 and dig this two more. Yeah, that's good. So 1, 2, that's 3, 4. Uh, I'm not going to count this. So this is... 116 let's go down to 100 straight away uh, good uh -huh. hmm that's not high enough so we need to go up a little bit let's say 100 yeah 105 it's good enough uh, let's open this area so I can land and potentially drop some of my stuff into a chest okay this is where my portal my new portal will be let's clear out some more of this area oh it looks very fast now that I'm not on the ladder and yeah I need to clear a big big space over here the room will be uh 19 by 19 uh wide and 17 well 16 plus half slab uh high so not gonna do this on camera of course i'll be back once i i've uh yeah once i've completed the, the digging and i'll see you in a few seconds 
Welcome back live at the silly quest for the treasure. After quite a while of digging and placing blocks, uh, take a gander of all this netherrack I dug on this room. Uh, yes, quite a bit of digging over here. Let's eat some steak because I'm quite hungry after all this digging. <laughs> And that's my nether hub, the main room of my nether hub. So as you can see, it's like a dome. Well, you can't really see it right now because it's all netherrack. And I used almost all the quartz uh, I found here and on my previous exploration in the nether to form this pillar. Um, this is the way down to the previous nether room. So now what's left is to put down the... where is it? Here it is. The obsidian to create the new portals. And let's get doing it on camera real quick. Because then I will go down to the original portal that was created when I entered the nether. And I'm going to deactivate that portal and activate this one. And hopefully we will end up in my uh, base without any problems. So let's do it and keep uh, the finger crossed. Uh, that's one, two, three. Yeah, it's good enough. Let's just do the pillar uh, around the quartz. Um, I don't know, I can make them giant looking up to the ceiling but eh, let's say it's this is gonna hurt but no let's say it's good enough uh, like this for the moment because also maybe I don't have no I don't have nearly enough uh, obsidian for this task so okay the portal is up and Let's open this chest and grab the flint and steel. Uh, this took me several several hours of digging. I I eat up several uh, iron pickaxes. I end up using the diamond ones to finish it. So uh, so, but shortly, let me explain you how this will work. Of course, it needs to be decorated. So just imagine it all decorated with colorful blocks that stand out in the red uh, of the netherrack. These are the actual tunnel I'm gonna use to go into different direction and I also already have one uh, portal I would like to create and connect with my village and here there's some space if I want to maybe add another hub room but well or just another tunnel because you know it's a single player server I don't think I'll have the necessity of add another uh, room to the hub but still of course the torches will have to go replaced by um, glowstone so um, uh, you know what let's lead up these portals bang and bang oops and let's test it. Let's see if I go back to my underground base from here. Hopefully yes. Finger crossed. And yes. Perfect. 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 So let's go back to the nether and actually deactivate the original portal because I'm quite sure yeah I end up here because they are they are not synced. Uh, what do we have here? Bunch of stuff that can probably stay, or probably I'll move them upstairs. So, bye bye, Mr. Portal. I don't need your service anymore. Let's grab the obsidian back. Uh, oh, I don't have any leather with me, don't I? Oh, damn it. Okay, I'll go up with cobblestone and replace it with. Uh, ladder in a second moment because I want to keep this passage open uh, because this is my passage to the nether fortress I discovered in the previous episode so we shall need it 
open in order to go uh, back to the nether fortress because well we may need nether skulls for example uh, sorry wither skulls <laughs> for the wither in a future episode uh, so I don't even have cobblestone enough to go up there <laughs> let's grab some of these uh, some cobblestone here good great uh -huh. I wasn't uh, that unprepared for this well just a little bit <laughs> maybe and here we are that's the passage to the nether to the nether hub let's just be careful because there will be a lot of guests I believe and uh, I would like to enclose this guest over here magma, magma cube nice I can use some magma cream uh, I can pro oh that's bad I can probably close the passage and use only um, cobblestone around the stairs so it's uh, uh, safe to descend and to go back up but yeah maybe off camera not now that's no way I'm gonna do it now there's no chance I'm gonna do it now Ooh, a lot of ouch ouch Gotta be careful. A lot of magma cubes. Nice. They are indeed useful for the magma cream. Uh, shoot him with the bow. Miss. Got it. I'll have to come here and grab all these um, quartz and um, glowstone over here. Come here, buddy. I will not hurt you much. You only two, you cheap one. Oh, but I'm stupid. I don't have my looting sword. All right. Well, I guess uh, now it's, everything is pointless because I already killed them all. So let's grab the magma cream. They I shall. Uh, they are willing to share with me. Uh, that's all. Let's take everything. That's all. Yeah. Let's go back up, being very careful for guests and other bad things happening in the nether, as usual, that's a very dangerous place. I was uh, lucky to know uh, and I didn't find any, any, here we go, any lava pocket when digging this, so good stuff, but I think I will have to be careful when uh, digging these tunnels, so well, we'll see. Uh, let me grab some of this stair to complete the passageway, and I guess this episode is already going pretty far. So I'll say let's quit here, and maybe off camera, I'll do some renovation to the hub room, and maybe in the next episode, I will connect the the portal to the village and show how to do that so for the moment I thank you for watching and for staying with me uh, have a good day ladies and gentlemen madame messieurs signori signori ciao ciao I hope you enjoyed